Tonight, an unsettling new development in this road rage crash which killed a Navy Chief Petty Officer. 10 News uncovered someone set up this fundraising website for Zach Bube's family. His family says they're not behind it. 10 News reporter Emily Valdez is now in the 10 News Live Center. And Emily, it's just wrong that someone may be using this family in a time of tragedy. You got it. Let me show you the website right here. This is the Zach View Memorial Fund. So far, there's $270 in donations, but we did some digging, and what we found threw up some major red flags. It began with a phone call and an email into the 10 News newsroom. 10 News. 10 News assignment editor Vanessa Torres took the call. He said he was a friend of the victim. He said that. He had taught him how to ride his motorcycle. The victim being Navy Chief Petty Officer Zach Bube. The man killed on his motorcycle in a road rage crash Thursday in National City. The caller wanted to alert us to this GoFundMe page. He explained that the money would go to purchase some sort of memorial for the victim. We also got an email that says it was from Caroline Burglass, the creator of the GoFundMe page. She said the money is going to Zach's family. So you can see they're asking for $50,000. I called the number the caller gave us. The number you have dialed is not in service. Zach's family told me they don't know anything about this GoFundMe page. They don't want or need donations, and they don't know a Caroline Burglass. The Better Business Bureau says scammers take advantage of tragedies. Even GoFundMe itself encourages people um, to only give to people that they know. So people have been posting on here throughout the evening. This one says, do not fund this. This is fraud. Now, I'm going to do this real time with you so you can see what's happening to people who are trying to warn others about this website. We're going to go up, and we're going to hit the refresh button right there. So it's refreshing. Let's scroll back down, and look, it is gone. So whoever is managing this GoFundMe website is also trying to hide any sign that there may be something wrong here. I'm in the Live Center. Emily Valdez, 10 News. All right, clearly a mystery then. People need to uh, be wary of that. Thank you, Emily. And if you stumble upon a GoFundMe page that you think is fake, send the link to GoFundMe and its team will investigate. You can also contact local law enforcement.